Hey, good morning. Welcome to this lovely day. Slightly overcast, not as overcast as I would like, because this here says hot weather to me. Right, now, it's the end of October, and stupidly, I have strawberries growing. I just... We still had strawberries last May, which was also stupid because it's way too cold for strawberries. And we were eating strawberries the other day. So I've got strawberries on the brain. Also, when I was at um, Knit August Nights, I went to Skeins and I bought these yarns specifically to do strawberry related projects. And now I think I have a strawberry related project. I was watching Skein Spider, who's a fantastic crocheter. She's one of my two favorite crocheters on YouTube that's been entirely inspiring to actually learn to crochet her and complicated knots. Have I done anything even remotely exciting in crochet? No, I have not. However, she had a video for a strawberry mouse and I was like, oh, that is cute. That is adorable. I would like to crochet a strawberry mouse. And then I was like, I could knit a strawberry mouse. And I was like, yeah, but whoever has... One of my chickens is laying an egg. Laying an egg? Laying an egg. We did get little new pullets the other day, so there's a lot of chickens. It's very exciting. Um, anywho, what was I saying? I thought I can knit a strawberry mouse because I have strawberry yarn. I never have red yarn. You may notice this is an orangey red. This is as close to red as I like. Not a big red fan. So, I'm going to wind this up, and my plan is today to design and knit a strawberry mouse. Because why not? Why not indeed? Right, it's about an hour later because where does time go? Caked up my yarn, I've found my supplies and now I'm good to go. I'll show you what I'm going to start with. Right, so I've got my coffee, which um, I've already got pen ink all over my hands. I've got my project design book. Now here is a knitting pattern for a strawberry that I designed years ago. I will put this in the link below. I'm going to start from here and see how I go. So, um, I've adapted the original pattern that I had for a strawberry to be pointier because mice are pointier. I assume they're pointier than a strawberry. They're, of course, they're pointier than a strawberry. I've seen a mouse, I've seen a strawberry. Although they are quite... chunky, Like, short-bodied. Well, field mice that we get around here, anyway. Um, this wind might be annoying. I've not stopped to think about what the sound quality of this is going to be. So my apologies if all of this is a voiceover. Because I could be inside, but I'm enjoying the weather. Okay, so I've got this uh, pointy wee nose filler. I've increased up to eight stitches on each needle. And now I think I'm just going to knit straight for about yay much. Um, and then work out how to add in the green leaves. But... He's coming along nicely. I do also have a little bag of eyes, and so at some point I'll put the eyes on and see where to go.
Now I'm anticipating this being terrible audio because of the wind, but I've got some little eyes in my little chonky mouse boy, and I've got some stuffing, and I think I'm going to do another row of green before starting the decreases. We shall see. The weather's turned a little bit. It's got a little bit windier, so this uh, <laughs> footage may be awful audio and have to be re-recorded. But I have a strawberry mouse. He's taken me all morning to design, which is pretty damn good. Um, I'm still not sure about whether or not the duplicate stitch is a good idea. Um, I'm also thinking maybe doing him all in red and then having individual leaves would be a cute idea. So um, I might have a look at doing that in the future, but for now, um, I will make this strawberry mouse pattern available. I will link Skein Spider's uh, strawberry mouse to this video as well. And enjoy.